Hey, Laura. Hey, Steven. It is the first full day in Glacier, and we are at the Iceberg Lake Trailhead. So we are going to take that hike. It's about 9.3 miles round trip. Yep, it's our first hike in like two years, so hopefully it goes well. Tomorrow we are backpacking, so that'll be exciting. So this will be a good test run. <laughs> yeah, this is actually gonna be farther than our backpacking trip, but we don't have to carry as much stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we got all the gear. We got hiking poles this time. Steven got new pantalones. He's a walk-in Columbia model. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Me too. I got Columbia on too. Head to toe. This isn't Columbia. Okay, that's Col Corellis. <laughs> Fail. That's crooked. For a 10 mile hike lasting four to six hours. At least two liters of water is needed per person. Weather can be very unpredictable. Dress in layers and be prepared for sudden drops in temperature. It is possible for rain or even snow to occur at any time while wow, hiking in Glacier National awesome. Park. We recommend carrying a head. Here we are a little ways up on uh, clearing. In great view. There's in front, there's behind us. What do you think? So far so good, it's not too bad. Okay, lesson learned, uh, charge camera batteries. Wasn't me this time, definitely Steven. Because I ran out. Good that it's an overcasty day because I'm hot already. Not too much cover out here. Nope. It's a nice view behind you though.
are your initial impressions? I think it's gorgeous. It's really cool seeing the icebergs in there and seeing it in the mountains and the nice awesome blue lake. Very sweet. Can't see very good in this one, but we'll get closer. <laughs> yes, we will. It's lunchtime. Iceberg Lake is right there. Iceberg Lake, what do you think? It is pretty awesome. I love that there's actually floating icebergs in there. The water is cool, um, like cold, hard to go swimming. Oh, I don't have any hair. And um, definitely recommend hiking to Iceberg Lake and Glacier. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Not too many icebergs right now. Well, it's a mix of it. They're floating that way. Yeah, they, they were pushed in that direction. Boom. Boom. Check it out. Oh, you're videoing me. Lovely. Well, I'll take a picture because... Yeah, you're good. What do you think of the views? The views are great. Definitely um, good views. There's not a lot of stuff blocking your view, which is nice. So you can see it. There's some waterfalls over there. It's great. Why are you so close? Because this is a wide angle. Mm. You can see yourself right here. I know. So it's not close, close at all. This is close. That's what it was. Yeah, this one's right here. Yep, views are good. What did you think of Iceberg Lake? Uh, I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was worth the hike. And I liked how blue it was and I liked the little mini icebergs in there. And I thought it was a unique <laughs> lake. What did you think, Steven? And we saw a moose at a distance. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure you have plenty of camera batteries. Yep, somebody, not me this time, failed at that. Yeah, but it was a pretty good hike. It wasn't too hard. It yeah. was pretty even. We're a little out of practice, so we're a little sore, but... I'm not super sore. I just have a blister, my first blister. Oh, shoot. Iceberg Lake. Hike it. Do it.